Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Challenger Extreme 1000 series version 1.0 with four different engine sizes. The file size for that is 33 megabytes. Next up we'll be taking a look at my favorite mod of all time but this is a new and approved version. This is called the Amazon Crass Hopper 2 new and approved version 1.0.0.1. File size for that is 31.5 megabytes. Now I'll have to tell you guys straight up, uh, we're going into some unrealistic territory. So if you're looking for realism, you may want to pass on this video. But if you're looking for something fun to mess around with or to help you out on 4x maps, if you're uh, struggling picking up straw, picking up grass, these are really going to come in handy. Especially that grass hopper because you can also use that as a... A mobile refilling pallet for your cedars, your fertilizers, and for uh, fuel as well. So basically you can bring the fuel right to your machinery. So guys, what we're going to do, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs, and then I'll get them out on the field and test them out. So, let's get started. Okay, we'll start with the Challenger over here. This is an obvious reskin of the Fent 1000 series, but it looks pretty good in yellow. And uh, this thing is a beast. You wait till you see this. First up, we have the Challenger Extreme 1000 series, version 1.0. Like I said, there's four different engine choices from a 1038, a 1042, a 1046, and a 1050. File size is 33 megabytes. Now, I'm going to be giving you the statistics for the 1050. Now, these are outrageous, guys. This thing is really unrealistic, so just bear with me. The power is 110,325 kilowatts and 150,000 horsepower. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, price in the shop for the 1050 is 673800 with a $410 a day maintenance fee. Max speed is 100,000 kilometers an hour. And yes, it comes with a weight as well, a 3300 kg weight. And we'll go over to the shop and take a look at that because I forgot to write the price of that down. So let's look at the tractors first off. Go over here, there is the Challenger right there. You can tell it looks just like the Fent, except it's done up as a Challenger. Okay, a, diff a few different di variations you can choose from here. You take it with the front attacher or not. Engine setup, like I said, a 1038. Now look, the 1038 is 380 horsepower. That's somewhat realistic, but watch as I go up. 420, 460. Now that's probably, you know, fallen in line, but watch when we get to the 1050 here. Boom. This is just the silly version. You can't control this when you go really fast with this. It corners, handles terribly, but it's fun to play around with. And you have the other variations to choose from as well. Max speed 100,000 kilometers. And you only get a couple of choices in colors. That's the color it is there, or you can take a little bit darker. Actually, this darker color is the one that we're looking at right now. The one I'm going to be testing out is a little bit lighter in color. And you have a few different uh, wheel variations to choose from, from standard wheel weights, rear twin wheels, twin wheels all around, and narrow tires. So, let's jump on inside and we'll start this up. Let's take a little look around at it first. Man, I'm moving super slow. There we go. Looks good with the uh, duels on it. Got 1050 written up there. That's cool. Keep moving around here. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And there is the Challenger weight on the front. I want to show you that before I push on. Over to the weights. Over to the end. There it is there. 3300 kgs. It'll cost you 1300 in the shop with a $0 a day maintenance fee. Okay. So let's jump on inside and we'll test a few things out. First up, we'll start it up. Try out some of the lights. Very nice lighting system. Three different settings there. Signal lights. Work just great. Hazards are a go. Beacons. Very nice. Reverse lights. Look, look how peppy this thing is. Look. You wait till I get this going. We'll have a good laugh at the end. I'll uh, take it for some crazy tests. Okay, let's jump on inside the cab and we'll take a look at a few things there. Very nice looking interior. Got a digital speedometer there. So we can tilt the steering column with that button. Right there we can put a knob on the wheel to help you with your turning. 
Let's turn a little bit here, see what else is inside. Looks like we can get rid of the fenders. Yes, we can. So that's kind of neat. Open the door, close the door, flip up our little seat there. Open up our little compartment on the side. I should have known this had the uh, IC controls. That's actually a blind. I just thought to check them now. Any other IC controls? Yes, there's the back window there. Very nice. Oh, that one's quite far too. And then you can get your extra controls up here. We have a Crone inside a Challenger. Just a little bit of spice to add to your tractor. They don't have any functions, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, this thing looks like a beast. And it drives like a beast too. Let's take it for a little spin. Now, like I said, it's going to control crazily because I think he just jacked up the speed. I don't think he uh, messed around with the... See, the tires just stop dead when you take your finger off the wheel there. But you can get some speed going with this, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't mean for that to happen, but let me go and fix that. Okay, I got to flip back over. I have the teleport mod on, so look at that cool-looking hitch on the back. Yeah, you can pretty much hook up to anything with this. So, that is the Challenger Extreme 1000 series. And we'll be testing that out momentarily. Now, let's move over to my favorite mod, the new one approved. Look at the tires on this. Look at that. Man. So, yeah, somebody took that and fixed it all up. Gaming Mods Channel. Can't really see the axle in the back there. But this thing can do a lot more than just mow grass and pick up straw. You can actually use this to uh, clean up after your animals. It actually has a function if you press the Y key. You can see the little symbols come out. I have tested them. Uh, you can bring that over to your seeder, refill it with seed, fertilizer, and fuel. You can actually refuel this as it is. See the fuel down there? 343? Watch. I can refuel myself, but of course, it's watch the money go down too. So it's just like using it out of the pumps. The only thing I can't get working is the water symbol there. I tried filling up a water tanker and I can't seem to get that one going. So before I get ahead of myself, let me introduce this. This is the Amazon Crash Hopper 2, new and approved version 1.0.0.1. File size is 31.5 megabytes. Price in the shop is 20,000. The power 2,015 kilowatts and 2,740 horsepower has an attachment in the front and the back. It also has a, uh, I think it has the front loader attachment. The other one did. Yeah, you can see the little hooks there by the seat. You can hook a front loader to this if you want. So it has a few different functions. This thing can actually fly too, but that's just kind of more silliness. You wouldn't really use that for anything. And it has a big weight system on it as well. Like I said, it's $20,000 in the shop with a $1 a day maintenance fee. The work speed is 39 kilometers an hour. The max speed is 164 kilometers an hour. Work with is, I'm not too sure about that. It doesn't really say anything about it, but if you press the V key, there is your cutting arm. comes out there, and the B key will start it up, of course. And it has a capacity of 1 million liters, so yeah very unrealistic but I'm telling you this thing will come in handy so press the Y key get rid of that we'll start it on up test a couple things out here we do have some lights not too bright of lights but uh, yeah we have three different settings there we even have some signal lights on this thing very very tiny yes indeed they're certainly small I like that they have the attachments on the front and back too Yes, we have some beacons as well. Horn. Very loud horn. I don't think we tested the horn in that, but we'll test it out on the field. So, is there anything else to say about this? Yes, you can uh, add weights to this. You can actually add a big stack of weights. You can add so much weights that it just flips over. So, you're going to use the page up and down buttons to add the weights. Boom, boom, boom. All the way up until it starts flipping. Look at that. Okay, back down we go. Because I don't want it to flip over. Okay, and then if you keep pressing page down, you'll get them on the back as well. That is the Amazon Crash Hopper. Let's take that for a spin. Handles pretty decently, I must say. 
just gotta you got four wheel four wheel steering so you just gotta be a little careful with it now I showed you the weights now there's actually a function that it's not showing you there and that is the flying now if you press caps lock you're gonna start floating up in the air two and eight are gonna make you go forward and back what the purpose of this is I do not know four and six keys will side to side and you can rotate by pressing the star and the uh, slash button now I'm not gonna press the star because that's my record button but I'll show you what happens here you just flip it right over I don't know what the point of this is but I mean it's just fun to play with and then if you hit caps lock again you'll bring it on back down to earth it's like turning the gravity back on so yeah it's fun to play with get a little speed going show you that it can go 164 kilometers an hour without a problem gets up there pretty fast too so yeah this one actually handles a little bit better than the older version and like I said this is my all-time favorite mod because it's just so helpful it, it is very helpful okay so let's go over the shop take a look at this and then we'll go test it out so this is going to be in your miscellaneous section there it is there, the Crasshopper 2, $20,000, 1 million liter capacity. It says it works with silage and stuff too, but in case I didn't mention it before, this is great for cleaning up after your animals. Now, it won't pick up the corn that your sheep drop out of the pen, or your pigs, sorry. But the uh, the sheep and the cows, you can pick up the grass with this, so it, it just makes it that much more easier to deal with. Let's go test these out. Okay, here we are out on the field. We're going to test out... Our seeding ability with the uh, seed hawk here. Oh, yeah, this guy can definitely handle that. He's gonna drag this around like a toy. Okay, let's unfold him. So it's only gonna work with the work speed of the seeder itself. It's not gonna like fly down there super fast, but it should go fairly quick. I just got a little of each in there just to test it out. down turn it on and look you can tell it's pulling that along with ease no problem at all so it's definitely a nice little tractor it's realistic up to the 1050 then you just have a silly version at the end so yeah if you don't like the unrealisticness of it then you can just stick with the other three versions the 1038 the 1042 or the 1046 Okay, hire workers, not a problem. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so you can see that works just great. Now let's do get a little silly here. Let's go for a test drive. And see if, how fast we can get this thing going. Look at that. <laughs> it's just as soon as I hit the smallest of bump, it's going to go flying. Oh my god, 500 kilometers an hour. Oh. I want to go over here. Oh, oh! Imagine that. That thing would have been crumpled up like a can. I want to hit a jump with this, just to see how much air we can get. Look at that thing go, man! That can motor. I want to see if I can get it a little bit more wide open. Look, almost 600 kilometers, guys. See, you can't turn. That's the problem. I get the brakes just buried too. <laughs> I want to hit this jump over here see how much air we can get. Boom! <laughs> you know, whoa, I stayed on my wheels, that's awesome! Oh, look at that, that was beautiful. Man, I can't believe I stayed on my wheels, that was a cool jump. I'd like to know how much, how long that was. So we're not going to try this one just yet. I actually have one over here, because I want to show you that you can refill your cedars in your fuel from this thing as well and let's jump in here now as you can see i have no seed or and no fertilizer inside this now let's pull up the cedar and see what happens here now you will have to get in the other vehicle of course to fill it up look at this so you can see the money going down so it's just like having a refill pallet on wheels but that is cool 
And I don't believe you have to put the symbols out to fill that up. And it fills it super quick, too. You know, it will fill both. You just got to be in the right spot. There we go. So that is really cool. So it beats bringing an auger around with seed and fertilizer in it. You can just bring that right on up to your seeder and continue on from there. So there you go. Okay, now let's try the refuel. Now you've seen it refuel itself. Now this guy is down a couple of liters. Let's see if we can get him fueled up. See 1400 liters in there. Pull on up beside, you see the gas symbol come on in the corner, and look at that. It's going to cost you money too, but hey, you can bring fuel if you conked out somewhere. Bring this right on up to it, and you can automatically f refill it. So that is neat. Press the V key to extend your mower. B key to turn it on. Now the work speed is normal, like 39 kilometers. I know that's probably still fast, but... You're not going to be picking this up at 164 kilometers an hour. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to speed up time, and I will be right back. Okay, you can see I have a quarter million liters there, just over that, and we're right at 25%, so four times that is a million liters. Uh, we missed the drop off here. The lights are really bright too. I love this mod. I do have to say this is my all-time favorite mod. This is from Farming Simulator 15. Not sure if it goes back into 13 or 11, but yeah, this is my all-time favorite. Now, you're just going to hit the I key to unload. You get that animation, very nice animation of the bucket tipping out. Now it's going to look like it doesn't go straight down, it kind of goes on an angle, but it still works just great. And you can see that we're emptied out. Okay, we'll go test it on some grass now. Here we go, got this guy all set up, we'll just start him on up. Put out our mower attachment, and there you can see it's cutting the grass, no problem at all be able to pick up this hay and stuff that's already there so once again I'm just gonna fast forward time and you can see this in action in fast motion grass pick up a million liters before you know it all right nice animation there of the dropping off of the hay looks like there's still some in there but you can see it's empty so there you go guys that was the challenger extreme 1000 series version 1.0 file size for that is 33 megabytes and the amazon grasshopper 2 new and approved version 1.0.0.1 File size for that is 31.5 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it would really, really help. So, until next time, take care, and we'll see you all in the next one.